how to make a resume in canva hey guys welcome back in this video i'll show you how you can build your resume in canva so let's get into it now building your resume can be quite a difficult task especially if you're just starting out so today we're gonna break it down step by step now let's take a look into the different templates that are available on canva and let's see what we can do to build our own customized resume so first off you need to create your account on canva i already have an account and you can get a free trial of their pro plan as well on canva so once you create your free account you're just going to search for resume in the search bar over here once you type in resume you will be able to see that they have a bunch of different templates they have over 11,000 templates available some are available for free while the ones that have this icon this crown icon on the bottom those templates are available only for the people that are using the pro plan now you can scroll and see all of the different templates that are available and you can choose the one that you like the most this just really depends on what industry you're in if you're in more of a corporate industry you want to keep a simple and neat resume if you're more so in a casual industry in the marketing industry where you know resumes are more colorful or bright you can choose a more bright resume so this really depends on your sector now for us we're going to be taking a look at one of a more professional template so i'm going to search for corporate resumes instead so taking a look at some of these corporate resumes over here i really like a bunch of these but i think i'm just going to continue with a simple template like this one over here and i'm going to click on customize now once you click on customize this template this will open up a new canvas for you to use over here everything can be edited so once you have loaded your template we're just going to click on the zoom option on the bottom right and increase the zoom so we're better able to see the entire template now one thing i'm noticing in this template is that the text is a little small for my personal preference so you can do a select on the entire canvas you can select that and you can click on this icon on the top right which is the increase font size in this way you can increase the font size of your entire resume now this is going to make some of the alignments look a bit off but we can adjust that as well so what we're going to do is that i'm going to decrease the font a little slightly increase it and then i can readjust some of the basic items over here like this so after that i'm going to adjust the name setting as well like this making sure that everything looks well aligned like so so i'm just going to add this and this over here and then on the bottom i can add my phone number the basic information that i have like this I'm just putting in everything uh, in a better alignment now after that you can get started with editing the text so let's zoom into the top section this is the section where it's going to state your name so you can double click on the name that has been entered then you can type in your own name once you've typed in your own name you can get started with customizing the font and the size as well so to do that you can just select keep on selecting the text that you have and then on the top left you have the font option from here you're going to be able to see the document fonts this means these are the fonts that are already being used in this document then you will see some recommended fonts. These are going to be the ones that Canva is recommending or the ones that people are frequently using in building these types of documents. Then you have your previously used fonts. So these are the recently used fonts and you can revisit previous fonts over here. Then you can also have your brand kit in your personal directory if you're using the pro plan. And then you just have some popular fonts and you can start browsing all the fonts that you want. Now, once you create your text, you can increase the size as well as change the color of your text. So if you want to build a different appearance, you can double click on the text and then click on the color over here and choose a color of your preference. Now, after that, you have your second section, which is going to state your current position or the position you frequently work in. So over here, you're going to input your position and you can also customize this text. Let's say I want to match it with a top text. To do that, all I have to do is click on the top left over here, scroll down and I would go into previously used fonts. So we have our recently used fonts and then I can enter the font that I just previously used or I can go into my document fonts and add a document font. 
Now on the right, you have your address, you have your messaging, email, location. Let's say for us, we're not including location. So I can delete this. Now, another great feature is to group two items together. So I can do a left click and then select both items together, and then I can move them accordingly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to align these elements together, like so. Now, once I've done that, I can input my phone number and email over here. After that, you have an about me section. So in our about me section, we can click on this text over here and then you can write about yourself. So whatever is going to be your personal message, you can write over here in your about me section, your skills, how long you've worked or how you got about to go in this industry. You can enter all of that into here. Then you also have the option of magic write in Canva. You can click on continue writing over here, click on try it out, and this is a pro only feature, but you can actually go on ahead and, you know, continue writing with Canva. You can make it continue writing, and then it's going to keep on building upon our text. Now, this has created a really long uh, section, but what I'm going to do is that I can select it once again, click on magic write, and I'm going to click on summarize text. Now, after it has summarized text, I can enter this over here and I can resize it as well. Now, once I've resized it, I can also put the alignment slightly differently for this block like so, but I don't wanna change the alignment because I like it the way it is. I'm just going to move this over here and I'm going to remove some of the text and then I can fit this right over here like this. I can also increase the size slightly and now this fits perfectly in our second section. Now, section by section, you want to edit each one of these little uh, areas. Keep in mind that whenever you're entering your information, you want it to follow a chronological order, a reverse chronological order. So your most recent job should always be on the top and then it should go down. This is something that a lot of educational writers don't teach you. However, in companies, that's what they prefer. They want to see where you're currently working at or what you were currently doing most recently, rather than seeing, you know, oh, after high school, you did this job, then you did this job. So this is the better way to structure your resume. You should follow suit with your education in the same way. Instead of going for a chronological order, so high school, college, university, go for college, university, and high school because they want to know your most recent activities the, on the top of your resume. So once you've completed editing your resume, you can click on share on the top right and then click on download and the download this as a PDF print standard or JPEG. I recommend downloading a PDF standard for most use cases. Keep in mind that you should always create multiple different resumes and you should always create a resume tailored to the job listing. Try to include some keywords from the job listing and tailor your resume accordingly to what the job requires and that can help you in building your resume on Canva. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.